Welcome to the topic 1.6.1, Simplicity in Pointers. If you consider a program, it will accept the input, processes it and delivers the output. But not always a program can accept the input statically, that is when the program is written. For example, if you want to calculate the average height of 100 people, statically what we do, we define int a of 100, define their ages and calculate. When you say int a of 100, the memory for 100 integers is allocated by the system software without the knowledge of the programmer. Programmer just uses it. But you consider this case where if ever people want here, people here want to calculate the average height of people who visit here so that they want to know how many people scale to the second floor, how many people want to, how many people want to scale to the top of the floor. How do you do it? Program has to take the input dynamically because every day the number of people attend here varies. Now, int a of 100 will, be, will become int a of x. What is that x? That x has to be taken during the execution of the program. When you take x, how does the program allocate memory? Programmer has to explicitly now allocate memory for the input taken. How does he do? Once the programmer writes a code for allocation of memory, how does he deal with the allocated memory? Now, he has to understand two things here. When dealing with dynamic data, he has to understand what is the provision by the kernel or system software to allocate memory and he has to understand the language semantics to deal with the address returned by the system software after allocating memory. These things, once a programmer understands, then dealing with pointers will be simple.